Okay, it just had a general error, so let me start again. Okay, so again, this is the Healthy Skin Prevention Plus series. Uh, Pamela Hyen did most of the work on this series, and she did a wonderful job. And we're going to be professionally recording this uh, after our debut today. And uh, it will be available for those who are not part of our um, close-knit family uh, through Crown Diamond Tools in probably a month or two. So keep your eyes open. And um, when it's professionally done, it's uh, recorded and you get a PowerPoint so that you can, you can share it with others if that's something that you want to do. So let's move on. This is what you'll learn today, the importance of skin health, how bacteria and pathogens can affect skin health, what causes inflammation and how it affects our skin health, how to support the skin, and how to relieve and heal skin conditions. Also, what role our elimination plays in healthy skin. Our skin is the largest organ of the body, and most of you have heard this, especially if you are um, in, in the healing uh, realm. And uh, it covers approximately 20 square feet of the body's outside surface. The it's the first line of defense against harmful substances, infections, and dehydration. And 15 to 20 percent of an average adult's total body weight is their skin. It provides physical, chemical, and biological barriers. It regulates body temperature, blood storage, sensation, excretion, and synthesis of vitamin D. The structure of the skin contain, consists of two main parts. There's the epidermis, which is a thin layer composed of epithelial tissue, tissue found on the fingertips, the palms, and soles. And then there's the dermis. This is the deeper, thicker connective tissue. This is where blood vessels, nerves, glands, hair follicles are all embedded uh, deeply into the dermal tissue. Skin cells are pushed to the skin surface and the old ones slough off on an average of every four weeks. So here you have a picture of the dead skin, uh, skin cells. I'm going to use the little arrow here. Here's the dead skin cells steadily shed from surface of skin and um, they're being pushed out of this second layer right here. The living, this is the living dermis right here. This is the epidermis and this is the sloughing of the dead skin cells. So like every other organ of our body, it's fearfully and wonderfully made. It's, it's amazing, you know, what has gone into uh, uh, the creation of our bodies, isn't it? So let's talk a little bit about skin disorders and skin damage. Inflammatory allergens. We have external inflammatory allergens like sunburn. This is where, you know, the skin gets inflamed, it gets damaged. Um, you can get this from environmental contact. Some people are allergic to metals and jewelry, and so they get an uh, infl inflammatory reaction. Poison ivy is a good example. Um, poison oak, these things. Uh, actually, uh, some insects, insect bites, you know, the poison is actually um, giving you an um, allergic reaction. Internal inflammatory allergens, some of the, uh, the foods that we eat, acidic foods, gluten can cause problems. I know that that's been a problem for me since um, I was diagnosed in the 90s with Gulf War Syndrome. Chemicals are a problem for me when, as I was diagnosed with Gulf War Syndrome. So I have to be very, very careful with using yard chemicals or personal care products that have um, parabens or chemicals in them. 
And cleaning products. Cleaning products are very harsh, can be, and are full of chemicals. And we have actually had um, webinars on you know, the toxicity of some of these cleaning products and how we need to keep them out of our house because they will affect our children and our, uh, our own health and the health of, of anyone who lives in our home. So, so that would include our pets too, wouldn't it? And I was just reading a document, um, I think it was from Crow River Pet Hospital about pets and cleansing. So Pam is um, going to be putting together, well, we're going to work together, I'm going to help her, a uh, new PowerPoint presentation for pets because this seems to be an area of uh, concern. Other contributing factors include physical and emotional stress, inner toxicity, accumulation of irritants, elimination failure. Let's talk about that for just a minute. This is constipation, folks. The skin is your third kidney. If you're not able to evacuate the toxins or the debris or the or the or eliminate those things that you're eating, drinking on a regular basis, then what unfortunately happens is the body is unable to clean it out and it gets pushed out through the skin. That's where a lot of things like uh, acne uh, would come up, psoriasis, eczema. There is trapped putrefying debris in the colon and the very first line of defense for the, those kinds of skin problems I would recommend would be a cleansing uh, regime and of course we have the cleansing trio which uh, provides some uh, herbs to clean the colon and then uh, psyllium seed and that type of thing to go in as a broom and get the, all of the debris out and then it comes with enzymes which are imperative. Enzymes are imperative. We, we slow down the production of enzymes after the age of 30 now. Used to be 10 years ago when I would talk about enzymes it, would, it was at the age of 40 and now we're starting to have digestive problems much earlier to include leaky gut syndrome, um, irritable bowel syndrome, celiac disease, um, uh, acid reflux, many other uh, um, digestive issues. So uh, other contri contributing factors to inflammatory allergens are hormone imbalance, endocrine imbalance, lack of proper hydration. I can't say this enough that you should be drinking half your body weight in ounces of water a day. That's eight to ten glasses of water a day. And of course, we encourage you to put therapeutic grade essential oils in your water, like lemon, because it boosts the immune system, it cleanses the liver, and it helps with the production of white blood cells. Compromises the uh, compromising of the immune system will all, also cause inflammatory allergens. So there's much that we need to do to keep our skin in tip-top shape. Keep away from these inflammatory allergens. Okay, let's talk just a bit about psoriasis. It's a non-infectious chronic skin disorder. In other words, if you have psoriasis, you've probably had it for a while. And I've even seen small, small infants have psoriasis. It's usually flaky, silvery scales at the skin surface. It uh, seems to hang around the knees, elbows, and scalp. It can occur on the scalp like dandruff or cover up to 80 to 90 percent of the body. It uh, is um, identified as rapid growth of skin cells and there's, an, there's definitely an imbalance. So the first thing that I would start, of course, would be a, an intestinal cleanse. Sun exposure, natural or artificial, UVB rays can cause sunburn and result in skin damage. Skin damage is the production of oxygen-free radicals that disrupt collagen and elastic fibers in the skin. So this results in wrinkling and aging of the skin. Long-term exposure results in dilated blood vessels, aged spots, freckles, and changes in skin texture. It may cause sensitivity characterized by redness, itching, blistering, peeling, hives, and even shock. So we need to be careful. We need to cover our heads and 
wear something light that covers our body so that we don't get um, an over uh, over abundance of UVB rays. I don't recommend the use of um, skin uh, sunblocks. I don't. I think that that's one of the reasons that many uh, doctors are finding that their clients have vitamin D deficiencies because they're slathering it on. They're slathering it on. I have found in my own personal life that if I eat a lot of greens, and a lot of greens means I'm doing handfuls of greens in a smoothie in the morning, that uh, in the summertime I tan beautifully. But if I don't get my greens, I will tend to burn. I'm very light skinned. And um, it, it's, it was an, a, kind of a miraculous finding. I went to Hawaii and I had been drinking my smoothies and really bumping them up with my greens and I just didn't get burned at all. It was great. So there are things in uh, the natural foods if you get enough of it and we definitely don't get enough greens. I'm talking about kale and spinach. These are lighter greens that you can use in smoothies and it doesn't affect the the flavor of a smoothie as much as say you know collards or um, mustard greens of course would be very strong. Okay eczema. Eczema is an inflammatory disease. It occurs in skin creases, wrists, backs of knees, fronts of elbows. It's patches of red, blistering, dry, extremely itchy skin. It can be very very painful. And we're going to talk about um, something that can be used to um, soothe this particular um, disease. I do want to mention that, again, if you're suffering from psoriasis or eczema, that you want to think seriously about doing a cleanse so that you're not reabsorbing toxins. Acne is an excess accumulation of dirt and sebum. It's um, oil produced by hair follicles and in the follicles and pores of the skin. Pores and hair follicles become congestion and bacteria begins to feed on the sebum. That's why it's so important for young people to wash regularly because it becomes infected. Uh, inflammation and infection results in the formation of a pin or pimple, pimple excuse me, or blackhead around the hair follicle. And this is uh, acne vulgaris, which is a common type of acne primarily found in adolescents. And I have a 15-year-old grandson, and he was here over the Thanksgiving weekend, and um, his face was pretty broke out. So I gave him some things to bring home, and you're going to see what they are here in just a few minutes. Rosacea. Rosacea is something that um, I was, I think, inappropriately diagnosed with. Uh, through Gulf War because I have found that my rosacea, well, and they did say it was atypical, and if they say that it's atypical, it's nine times out of ten, they really don't know what it is. It seems to be different from the run of the mill, but I had rosacea so bad, and I'm going to share with you um, atypical rosacea. I'm going to share with you what I use. I think that mine is morally, more directly related to gluten for some reason. And chemicals, but regardless, um, if you can find something that is going to heal your face or heal your body from creating that kind of reaction, um, that's something that you know that would be a great thing. So it affects mostly light-skinned adults. It's usually between the age of 30 and 60. It's redness, uh, tiny pimples, and noticeable blood vessels located in the central area of the face, cheek and cheeks and nose. So that's pretty much everywhere. I mean, I get it on my eyelids, I get it on my chin, I get it on my neck. Um, and I had it very, very bad when I first came into Young Living and I went to the clinic. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that too. I've got plenty of time to do that. Aging skin. Collagen and elastic fibers begin to decrease in numbers around the late 40s. Decreased size of sebaceous gland leads 
glands lead to dry and broken skin. Aging skin is thinner and the migration of new cells slows considerably. The production of sweat diminishes and skin heals poorly and becomes more susceptible to pathological conditions. So this is where we really want to take a closer look at how we're feeding our skin and what we're doing for our skin. Finger and toenails. Nails are hard keratin epidermal cells. Growth of nails show, slow down during second and third decades of life. Nails may become brittle due to dehydration. Repeated use of cuticle remover or polish as well as age. And I noticed that um, people who use a lot of polish, they discolor their nails too. It turns kind of a yellowish um, because it's not allowing those nails to breathe naturally. Nail fungus can leave the nail plate with a thickened yellow or cloudy appearance becoming rough and crumbly or separating from the nail bed. Risk factors include poor health, prior trauma, compromised digestive system. This is probably the number one reason for nail fungus and the immune suppression. Let's talk about nail fungus for just a little bit. Um, the reason that I say the compromised digestive system is probably the number one reason is because if we have taken antibiotics um, or we are big sugar eaters or um, you know maybe even overuse of laxatives we have caused an imbalance in the intestinal flora and when that happens the good bacteria are overrun by the bad bacteria and that bad bacteria can be yeast. Yeast can react systemically in the body which means that it can go right into the toenails, it can go into vaginal yeast infections or um, itchy ears, um, it can go into, it can be in the colon so thick that you'll have um, you know itching in other areas and it's just not a very pleasant uh, way to live. So we recommend first of all treating treating the gut with a good probiotic and I would recommend Life 5. And the second thing I would treat those nails with, a, with therapeutic grade essential oils and there's so many of them that are effective. Now when I had uh, been diagnosed with Gulf War Syndrome I had a very compromised digestive system and guess what I had no toenail fungus and guess what they wanted to put me on Lamisil and they told me that they would have to test my liver once every three months and I said I don't think so and so I did some research and found that tea tree oil was supposed to be effective against toenail fungus so I went to the health food store and this was before um, Young Living by the way I went to the health food store and I bought myself a bottle of tea tree oil. It was desert brand. You may be familiar with that brand. And I brought it home and I began to use it. Oh, by the way, that the bottle was $8. And that was 11 years ago. So I don't know what it is now. But I began to use it and I began to put it on my toenails every day, morning and night, morning and night, morning and night. And I got no change in the in the fungus. No change whatsoever. So when I came into Young Living, and I was doing my research and I was talking to Susan who was teaching me about Young Living. I asked her, what oil would you recommend? And she said Melrose. So that's the one I got. Melrose is a blend. Melrose has tea tree in it. We call it Melaleuca alternifolia. It also has some other oils in it. And I started to use Melrose morning and evening just a drop under the nails in the morning and in the evening and within six months I had brand new toenails and I have never had toenail fungus again. So that's a great um, testimonial because of the fact that I got to see it for my very own self. So introducing healthy skin care. Let's talk about healthy skin care. The doctor of the future will give no medicine or medication but will interest his patients in the care of the human frame, diet, and in the cause and prevention of disease. This was written by Thomas Edison. Science is only beginning to understand how synthetic chemicals affect our health and the health of our planet. 
we are learning that every even minute amounts of some may cause serious harm some synthetic chemicals many of the thousands of synthetic chemicals used in consumer products have never been required to go through safety testing so let's just briefly look at natural versus synthetic synthetic chemicals are often used to replace healing essential oils these are the kinds of oils that you may get in the health food store they have synthetic chemicals added to them <clears throat> I want to mention uh, something about what we heard last night uh, Pam I'm going to unmute you just for a moment because if you have anything to add to this I want you to jump in but we have just heard that the lavender harvest in France has been no no less than decimated this year which means that our lavender production is going to be solely dependent upon our other farms we have a farm in Mona we have a farm in um, St. Mary's Idaho but the lavender farms in general have been destroyed um, I think it was they had a virus if I remember correctly right Pam yes. yeah they had a virus however our fields were tested and they did not find that the the virus on our fields but we still lost I think he said 40 to 60 percent yes. of our lavender now what he was uh, and he is Gary Gary Young who is the founder and um, owner of Young Living what he was stating was that the um, oil producers the other oil producers will develop a more chemically based lavender because they're going to use um, added chemicals and I can't remember the one that he said they were going to use to change the, the what to extend the the oil what to what? change the chemical constituents right. so that it's more like lavender but it's going to have this this chemical in it and I can't remember what that was you don't remember either no I don't remember Okay, well, anyway, so um, so I will tell you that the price of lavender is going up, and it'll probably double in price very shortly because of the lack of lavender that we have for this year. Uh, however, I will tell you that our purity is going to still stay the same because he's not going to compromise by putting any chemicals in it, which just makes us more wary of those uh, synthetic essential oils that are out there. We have to be very, very wary and knowing that whatever we put on our skin gets absorbed into our body so it seems that just about everything is being replaced by by imitations but these imitations are proving harmful and even toxic to the human body let's take a look at what might be in your personal care products take a take a good hard look at what you're using read your labels it is your responsibility to do that because you you are responsible for your body no one else is okay here are some things that are not so alluring hidden chemicals and perfumes and colognes if it says fragrance or perfume on your bottle on your on your um, personal care products this is immune this is an immune system toxicant it's a possible neurotoxin chemicals that are toxic to the brain it can contain between 20 or 10 and 300 different chemicals because of what they put it put together to create this fragrance or perfume another uh, thing that you need to be looking for is benzyl acetate it's a solvent hidden within fragrance and it's linked to pancreatic cancer we did our research on this folks this isn't something we just pulled out of our hat benzyl acetate is easily absorbed into the skin and um, it causes systemic effects. It po gives possible gastrointestinal, liver, and respiratory uh, problems, possible neurotoxin. And then look for this one, uh, phytholates, I guess is how you pronounce it, hidden within fragrance, may cause sperm damage in men. January 2007 found that the phytholates, DEP and DEP, HP, which, oh, by the way, are banned in Europe, 
uh, in each of the eight popular perfumes tested. And they're linked to hormone disruption, which can affect development and fertility. And, you know, I have so many clients that come to me that are infertile. So we need to um, look at what we're putting on our skin. It's that easy. How about deodorants and antiperspirants? You want to make sure that you're looking for aluminum, zirconium, and other aluminum compounds like aluminum chlor chlorhydrate. These control odor and slow down the production of sweat. They're linked to the development of Alzheimer's disease because the aluminum actually goes into the brain. It may be linked to breast cancer. We believe that it is. It's a prob probable neurotoxin, again, affects the brain, the nervous system, the respiratory system, and it's a developmental toxin. Thank God we don't normally put deodorants on our children until they turn, uh, go through puberty. Mineral oil. Mineral oil is something that you find in Johnson & Johnson's baby oil. We've been using it for the last 50 plus years. I was introduced to it when I was born. And uh, it is actually a human immune and respiratory toxic toxicant. It affects the skin, eyes, and lungs as an irritant. It gives organ system toxicity, especially the cardiovascular system, the stomach, the digestive tract, and the respiratory system. I'll throw the liver in there as well, because I've heard that mineral oil is very toxic to the liver. Health problems manifest as allergies, and in, we get an impaired capacity to fight disease and repair damaged tissues in the body. We don't want to use mineral oil, folks. And here's... Um, one of the places that we got this information. Look at your shampoos and conditioners. If you have something called cocomide DEA or loramide DEA, these are foaming agents in shampoos and bath, and bath products, and they are toxic to the human immune system. They are, they are cancer-forming compounds, and they cause skin irritation. How about formaldehyde? God forbid that we would have formaldehyde in any of our products, but mark my words, you're going to find them. You're going to find formaldehyde in um, suave hair shampoo. Um, it's found in deodorant, shampoo, soap, shaving cream. It's known animal carcinogens and probably human carcinogens according to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. Formaldehyde may cause skin rashes in sensitive children. It may co compromise the immune system. They are probable carcinogens and cardiovascular toxins, toxicants. They can damage, formaldehyde can damage DNA. It may trigger asthma, and it's toxic to development of brain and nervous system. Here's where we need to start standing up for what we believe and ask. You know, it's a buyer's market. It's, it's um, supply and demand. If you, if you demand these products continue to, contain these toxic chemicals, then they will continue to supply it. But as we get educated, and that's our goal, is to educate. As we get educated, it is our responsibility to demand products that are pure and that are, will not hurt our children and, their, and the, their brain development. And of course, last but not least, sodium lauryl sulfate, which I've preached about for many, many years. It is the foaming agent that causes the bubbles in your shampoo or your bath products. It alters skin structure, allowing other chemicals to penetrate deep into the skin. And it has been shown to directly affect loss of hearing and loss of eyesight. Okay, body wash and soaps. We're talking about... Um, Disinfectant soaps like uh, Dial, I guess, you know, the pump soaps that you have by your bathroom sink. If you have anything that has triclosan in it, this is a dangerous, dangerous chemical. Antibacterial agent, it's a deodorant and a preservative. It reduces and controls bacterial contamination on the hands and untreated products. It is a probable endocrine disruptor and causes cancer. It is actually, it was um, admitted into the use in chemical home products by the Environmental Protection Agency and was used as a biological toxin. Developmental and reproductive toxicity, it's irritation to, I think that needs to say skin, 
And I hope, Pam, that you're making notes of all the things that we're finding we don't need to have. These little things? Okay, good. Eyes or lungs. Uh, another thing you want to watch for is coal tar. I know that in some of the dander shampoos and in some of the bar soaps that are used specifically for um, psoriasis or um, you know skin problems, because it controls itching and eczema, but it softens, it because and it softens and promotes the the um, dissolving of hard, scaly, rough skin. It can be found in shampoos and soaps and hair dyes, but it's also a known human carcinogen, a skin and respiratory toxicant. And uh, another one is benzoconium chloride and benz benzothonium chloride. And a lot of these go by, you know, similar but different names, but they're all pretty much the same. This is an antimicrobial agent. It's found in moisturizers, sunscreens, facial cleansers, and acne treatments. It's toxic to the immune system. It may trigger asthmas and allergies. It's an organ system toxic, toxicant to include the cardiovascular system, the stomach, and the digestive tract, also the respiratory system. It causes endocrine, brain, and nervous system disruption. So young living. Stewards of nature's living energy. Seed to seal ensures we keep our promise of quality and purity. And Gary was talking about seed to seal last night. Seed, essential oils that work and come from plants whose species have been authenticated. Species certification involves scientific research, field study, university partnerships, and on-site planting certification. We know where our seed comes from. And Gary does not use hybrid seed. He never has. He never will. In fact, he found that hybrid seeds contract, um, they're, they're not as hardy. The plants are not as hardy, which I think is strange because I thought that's why hybrids were created. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, cultivation for farm locations were Uh, four farm locations where we learn the best growing and harvesting methods. Co-op farms are visited regularly to certify the growing process. And Pam wanted to say something about um, a new certification that Gary mentioned last night. Go ahead, Pam. Well, we've been working with uh, over in uh, the France. French. Um, with the, is, it, is it the E-N-F-O-R? Is that what it's called? It's AFNOR, A-F. A-F-N-O-R, okay. Um, and we've been working with them for, I think Gary said something like 18 years. Yep. And now they have uh, agreed to become our partners. And they're the ones that set the standards for, um, for all of the essential oils. And I think that's uh, pretty exciting. And I also think that it says so very much for uh, Young Living and the products that that uh, that Gary produces, um, we, we are we have the highest standards, and um, with that kind of backing, there's just no doubt. So I just wanted to mention that. Yeah, and um, if you go if you have the essential oils desk reference, you can look at uh, in Appendix A. It starts at about 497, page 497. You'll see examples of Afnor. Uh, standards and it does talk about in the book it talks about um, AFNOR and what it is if you want to learn more about it I think on page 9 <clears throat> it actually gives the um, what AFNOR stands for so it's um, the Association French Normalization Organization Regulation and it's an international standard organization which has been set and set standards for essential oils. And, you know, most of the people out there um, that do do distilling, they're not they're not certifying. They don't have a standard. They uh, many of the plants that they use um, for distilling have been sprayed with pesticides and chemicals, or the land that they're growing the, the oils on 
have are is compromised. So we have four farm locations where we grow, um, where we learn the best growing and harvesting methods. We have co-op farms that are visited regularly to certify the processing, uh, the growing process. <clears throat> we distill, and Gary builds his own distiller, and he makes sure that the people who are um, partnering with us that they have the same standard of distillers, combined ancient and modern techniques recognized as an essential oil distill distillation innovator. We, have, we do our distilling in triple stainless steel. Many people don't care about that, any of that. We test each essential oil must pass stringent specifications to ensure optimal bioactive natural compounds to make sure that they're present. Uh, internal labs, we do our own testing internally, but we also have third-party laboratories that verify that every essential oil exceeds international standards. And the international standards are called the ISO, International Standard Organization. So uh, between AFNOR and ISO, we uh, go by the highest standards on the planet. SEAL individually bottles and ships to members worldwide and we know that there are uh, we're in over 61 countries now we are the largest distributors of therapeutic grade essential oils on the planet so let's talk about what we offer the planet based on the information that you've gotten thus far we offer the planet um, first of all an art, uh, a skin care system and this skin care system is called ART, which stands for Age Refining Technology. It comes with a gentle foam cleanser, which supports healthy skin while cleansing away impurities and balancing pH levels in the skin without overdrawing. It has a purifying toner, which removes, you know, makeup. If you wear makeup, uh, makeup impurities, it minimizes shines and reduces appearance of pores. This is great for my grandson. I sent him home with the toner. Um, it's got spearmint in it. It's very refreshing. It uh, it made his face just glow. It really did. Um, there's a day activator. It increases skin density, repairs DNA, reduces fine lines, uh, wrinkles, and sun damage. And then there's a night reconstructor, which con contains anti-aging uh, enzymes and energy-activated enzymes to repair damaged DNA segments. And you know what? There's none of those chemicals that we just talked about in any of these products. There's no sodium lauryl sulfate. There's no cocamide. There's no, uh, you know, aluminum or any of that kind of thing. This is gentle foaming cleanser foams because of the technology of the bottle, not because it has uh, a foaming, a foaming chemical in it, which is beautiful. And these. These particular products are just chuck full of precious therapeutic grade essential oils, which are so healing and nourishing to our body. Oils like frankincense and sandalwood, and I mentioned spearmint in the toner, and myrrh, which, are, which has been touted for skin and skin health since the times of the Egyptians. Here's some art testimonials to healthier skin. Uh, Sarah Summerfield in Calgary, Alberta, Canada stated, I have had acne my whole life. The Art Skin Care has cleared my face better than any face cleaner I've ever used. It also is working well on clearing my scarring. So I would recommend the Art Kit to all ages. And here's uh, from Sandy Fox in Mountain Home. And she says that she's been using the art skin care for several years now. And I began because I was very aged. I, have, I had very aged looking skin on my upper chest from severe, several serious burn, sunburns right there in the V of her blouse area. That V looked wrinkled and brown next to the healthy unburned skin. So her dermatologist said it would always be discolored. Uh, after using Art Skin Care for about three months, my skin was softer, less wrinkled, and a smoother color. It blended smoothly with the rest of my skin. Of course, my face had fewer wrinkles, and the scars of earlier acne were gone. 
My husband had some bumps on his face, and since his mother suffered from skin cancers, I was worried. I have no idea what these irregular bumps were, but after using art for about three months, three of the four bumps were completely gone, and the last one was diminished and much less noticeable. So you see, these things, these products are working at a cellular level. Men want great skin too. Using Art Gentle Foaming Cleanser as a superior shave cream gives every man the edge, living, leaving his face feeling clean, hydrated, and soft. I'm having to take this call for just a moment. Hold on. I was just concerned because my husband has called three times now, and I keep hanging up on him because he should know that I'm in a webinar. <laughs> okay, so the buzz about art skin care. Who says us older folks with wrinkles can't look younger? We are, imp are impressed... To, we are impressed and looking forward to getting more results to reverse the skin damage from the past 60 years. This is from Rich and Sean. Uh, Julie states, I have been using this new art skin care line for two weeks now, and the brown spots on my hands are almost gone. Age refining technology. Here's before and after, before treatment. A combination of aging and sun will damage DNA and inhibit the production of collagen, el elastin, and moisture in the skin. This results in dry, rough, uneven skin texture with noticeable fine lines and wrinkles. Here's after treatment. Treating the, fine, the, sk treating the skin with art delivers DNA recovery enzymes and essential oils while stimulation while well, stimulating the production of collagen and elasticity to help smooth, plump, and soften skin. Art produces dramatic and noticeable results. Once again, Young Living has taken the finest ingredients and combined them with the latest skin care technology to create a system that restores youthful-looking skin. Age-refining art is the art and science of skin care. Here's some anti-aging skin creams. We have Basuela. Now, I know that some of you know what Basuela is. Basuela is frankincense. We have Basuela Katare. We have Basuela Sacra, which is the sacred frankincense. This is Basuela Katare, and it's in a wrinkle cream. It's a collagen builder, and you know that helps to minimize wrinkles, doesn't it? to build collagen, to minimize wrinkles, and, and it contains the essential oils of frankincense, sandalwood, myrrh, geranium, and ylang-ylang. And I will tell you that our um, new, newly uh, formulated, reformulated skin creams now have shea butter in them, and they're beautiful. Sandalwood moisturizer cream promotes young, younger, healthier skin and contains the essential oils of myrrh, sandalwood, lavender, rosemary, and verbanum. Wolfberry eye cream reduces puffiness, dark circles, and promotes tightening. It contains essential oils of lavender, rosewood, Roman chamomile, frankincense again, and geranium. And of course it has the wolfberry, which is in our Ningxia Red, which is so um, stimulating to the immune system and so many other things. So you're getting more than just an anti-aging skin cream. You're getting something that goes into your body and heals your body at many, many levels. The Satin Facial Scrub is something that I wouldn't be without. It's an advanced cleansing formula designed for normal skin. It's great for um, de sloughing off or exfoliating, so it can be used as a deep cleansing mask. You can let it dry on if you want. You don't have to, but you can. And then uh, wash it off later because it's feeding your skin with all these wonderful um, oils. It's free from harm harmful chemicals. It, cleans 
It cleans, nourishes, and stimulates without damaging the skin's natural pH balance. Its safe, gentle ingredients help to exfoliate and rejuvenate the skin for a fresher, smoother appearance. It's revitalizing, it's refreshing, it's stimulating. It has pure peppermint oil, so it's a great way to wake up in the morning in your shower. I actually keep mine in the shower, and I put a little bit in my hand, and I, and I put it on my face and my chest and my upper arms to kind of exfoliate that area. It contains MSM and antioxidant vitamins and botanicals. Enjoy a symphony of scents with exquisite sh shower gels. Bath gels disperse agents to unlock full effects of an aromatherapy bath. Natural botanical ingredients for cleansing pores. Soothes and nourishes skin. Uh, relax, energize, or uplift with one of these shower gels. Other bath and shower products are Morning Start. This is the lavender that you see in the picture here, but we have Morning Start, which has always been a favorite one of mine. Uh, we have Evening Peace, and I thought that Morning Start was discontinued, but um, evidently Pam has done her homework and found that Morning Start is back. So we want to make sure. We know that we have Morning Start bar soap, but um, we want to make sure that we have the Morning Start bath gel. Evening Peace Sensation, which is wonderful. Dragon Time. Dragon Time is, can be used, um, you know, during that time of the month. Or create your own unique bath and shower scent by getting the bath and shower gel base and then adding your oils to that. And that's what we do in our home. Kenneth likes, my husband, likes, um, likes to put Idaho balsam fur in his bath. Or he likes to put white fur in his bath. So we make up his, our own bath gel. Experience fragrant, soft, and silky skin with nourishing hand and body lotions. We also have hand and body lotions that are free from all of those horrible chemicals that we talked about earlier. Plus they're age-defying, they're restorative, they work at the cellular level, they renew the skin. All natural ingredients. Gary has always said if you can't eat it, don't put it on your skin. It's hydrating with things that don't, um, that, that, well, one of the chemicals that we didn't mention was, um, was the, not sodium lauryl sulfate, but propylene glycol. And propylene glycol is in many, many uh, products out there on the market today. And pro propylene glycol originally was put in for the hydrating effect. Not in our products, but in other, um, you know, less healthy products. Well, what they found is because propylene glycol is antifreeze, it um, hydrates for a moment and then it flashes off and actually dries the skin more. And we find propylene glycol in things like lip balm, you know, uh, lip, lip, whatever that lip stuff is that they use. Um, Carmex. Carmex is one of them. It has propylene glycol in it. We have actually pro provide, we're providing lip balms without any of those toxic chemicals in it. So our skin and body lotions are fortifying. They promote velvety, smooth, and supple skin. And so you want to get rid of the garbage that you have in your house and you want to replace it with some of the beautiful uh, healing products. We also have the Genesis Lotion and Sensation Lotion. So both of those, um, all three of those, Lavender, Gen Genesis, and Sensation are great hand and body lotions. L Lavaderm Cooling Mist. I like Lavaderm, especially in the summertime. It assists in healing of minor burns, abrasions, abrasions, dryness, and other skin irritations. It contains highly purified concentrate of aloe vera gel, with lavender oil as an antiseptic, and it has the ability to reduce scar formation of scar tissue. It soothes and regenerates stressed skin. Randall Prescott from uh, Randall Seacrest from Prescott, Arizona, states, "I use lavender spray on my face twice a day, and really like how refreshed it makes my skin feel. Plus, it's um, you know, it's hydrating his skin. It's making his skin younger." Lavender Volume Shampoo and Conditioner. I've been using this particular 
lavender shampoo and conditioner for 11 years. It gently cleanses. It adds volume to fine hair. It nourishes and restores balance. It's long known for its ability to improve the appearance of hair and skin. Lavender oil works its fragrant magic to enhance the, beautiful, the natural beauty of your hair. It has added botanical extracts, vitamins, and essential oils that remove buildup that come from commercially sold hair products while maximizing body. Now, I don't use any commercially sold hair products, but I do find that it gives my hair body because my hair is thinner than, you know, it's not uh, coarse and curly. It's, it's fine and straight. It renews and revigorates. I love it. I know that I'm healing my scalp. Um, I've not had any scalp issues in 11 years since I've been using this wonderful shampoo. It contains MSM, which is a sulfur compound that is known for strengthening the hair. Rosewood Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner is for curly hair or coarse hair. It gently cleanses. It's great for damage or dry hair. It maximizes body. It's, again, it's great for curly or coarse hair. It removes buildup and restores moisture. And usually for dry or damaged hair, that's what you're looking for, something that's going to moisturize. And that's why we have the Rosewood Moisturizing Shampoo. The Lemon Sage Clarifying Shampoo and Conditioner is designed for all types of hair. It's especially beneficial for oily hair. It's fortified with botanical extracts, vitamins, and essential oils to do something. It removes harsh effects of water, hard water, chlorine, trace metals, medications, environmental pollutants, and product buildup, leaving hair shiny, healthy, and manageable. And if you do color your hair, I recommend that you use the Lemon Sage Clarifying Shampoo prior to going into your hairdresser to get your hair colored because it will uh, help your hair to keep its color longer. Okay, I need to talk to you about Sulfurzyme, which is going to help you create beautiful skin and hair from the inside out. I want to talk about Sulfurzyme because this is really what has healed my skin. I, you remember I told you that I suffered from rosacea, or atypical rosacea, or Gulf War Syndrome, and the skin would be cracked and bleeding and oozing and inflamed and sore, and I can't go on and on enough about how I've had trouble with my skin. I have found that when I use two heaping teaspoons of Sulfurzyme every day in my Ningxia Red, that my skin stays beautiful. This particular product can be purchased either in the capsules, which I think we're giving the item number for the capsules here, or for the powder. And I like the powder, even though it doesn't taste the very best, I like the powder because I can, it, it dissolves very quickly in my juice, in my Ningxia Red juice. Uh, it absorbs very quickly in the buccal cavity of, my, of the inside of my mouth. So I know that I'm getting it immediately. I know that I'm not having to digest the gel caps, which is not a problem for some, but, you know, it's just one way to get it into my system quicker. Uh, Sulfurzyme supports skin, hair, nails, and joints. If you have uh, nails that are not hard and uh, peel, they peel or split or, or whatever, you, wanna, you know that you need sulfur in your diet and you need sulfurzyme. It's a natural pain reliever. We recommend sulfurzyme for the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis for joint pain it, because it reduces inflammation and it supports the immune system. I, I can't be without sulfurzyme. I think as far as my supplements go, um, between Sulfurzyme and Omega Blues and Longevity and oh boy, here I go. I'm going to probably make a list. I don't know what I'd do without them. I really don't. This is the number one supplement for skin and hair. So here's my Sulfurzyme skin testimonial and here I am if you haven't seen me. Uh, my hair is a little longer now. This was taken I think last year in, 19, in 2009, but I have had some something called atypical rosacea ever since I was diagnosed with Gulf War Syndrome in 1993. I use two heaping teaspoons of Sulfurzyme every day and two to three ounces of Ningxia Red Juice and my stin, skin stays almost flawless. And you can see my skin looks very good here in this picture. Christina Campbell, O'Fallon, Illinois. That's where I'm from. That's right across the river from St. Louis if you don't know where that is. 
AromaGuard deodorants. Let's talk about using deodorants that, number one, work, and number two, don't have any of the chemicals. My husband and I have been using these deodorants ever since Gary formulated them, which has been, I think, since 2003. They're free of propylene glycol and toxic aluminum salts. They're natural skin soothing properties because they have the oils in them. They're formulated exclusively from therapeutic grade essential oils, all natural ingredients. I want to mention here, and this should actually be on this slide, that our deodorant is a lymphatic detoxifier. I think that that is such a great uh, testament to these. You know, you're not only using it to prevent, un, you know, undesirable odor, but you're detoxifying the lymph at the same time while using these wonderful uh, deodorants. Now, we use the Mountain Mint because, and that's the one in the foreground, because of its minty feeling in the morning. It kind of wakes you up. But we do have two flavors, if you will. Mountain Mist contains clove, lemon, a little bit of peppermint, but doesn't give you that minty wake up, you know, kick under the arm. Rosemary and Eucalyptus Radiata. These are wonderful deodorants. If you use nothing else from Young Living, I would recommend the AromaGuard deodorants because they are the best. And if a man can use it and not have an, un, a disagreeable uh, odor after working or sweating or playing tennis, which my husband does and comes home and doesn't smell, he's just sweating, you know, the, we've got the best here, folks. We've got the best. Animal Sense Ointment is actually, I don't want you to be um, thinking that we're, we've inadvertently jumped to the pet <laughs> presentation that we're creating. This ointment is phenomenal. I had a woman in my, um, uh, an appointment yesterday with a woman who is um, a severe diabetic. She's on a diabetic pump and um, her skin cracks and bleeds. It looks, oh, it looks so painful. And I went into my bathroom, got my animal scents out, and got her a little container that um, could hold about, I don't know, maybe an ounce of the animal scents. And I filled that container with her, and I told her to start putting this on her skin every night before she goes to bed. This will heal. It is phenomenal for healing. If you have problems with eczema, animal scents. And it's because of the stuff that's in it. It's the myrrh. It's the healing oils in um, in animal scents. It has it has um, melaleuca alternifolia. It has carrot seed oil. It has um, rose hip seed oil. It's it's got Idaho balsam fir, geranium, palmarosa wheat germ oil, sesame seed oil, all these wonderful, wonderful healing oils. It's a blend of two of nature's most powerful essential oils, melaleuca, alternifolia, and myrrh. It's used for minor cuts, irritations, and abrasions. You can also use it, um, you can also use it if you put oil on a, an area and then you want to cover it with animal scents, it'll hold it in. Bonnie Griffith from Ithaca, New York says, I'm so amazed and happy with Young Living products. Why did I wait so long? I've had a hard time healing the cracks and dry skin on my heels caused by wearing sandals all summer long. I used animal scents skin ointment just one evening before bed. It was closer than my body lotion. So to my amazement, the next morning, almost all of the cracks had closed up and healed just overnight. What a wonderful product. Thank you, Gary Young. We love you. Bonnie Griffith. Uh, we're going to talk more about Animal Sense when we go through the pet series. We have an acne beauty serum. Essential oils, fine lipid structure, enable them to penetrate deep into skin tissue, carrying many active ingredients that renew, balance, and build skin health. Acne prone skin contains the essential oils of eucalyptus, tea tree, cedarwood, ma manuka, and thyme. This serum includes wonderful skin conditioning ingredients of coconut, avocado, jojoba, rosehip seed, and wolfberry seed oils. Additional nutrients are vitamin E and lecithin. They are added for further emollient and softening effects. We also have an essential beauty serum for dry skin. 
Young Living Serums offer the skin care benefits of pure essential oils to protect, strengthen, improve the appearance of skin. The dry skin formula moisturizes and nourishes dehydrated skin. And the Beauty Serum for Dry Skin Improved Sandra Hendricks Eczema. She's from Noonan, Georgia. It contains essential oils of cedarwood, blue cypress, lavender, myrrh, clove, and sandalwood. So let's talk just briefly about um, lavender oil. I know we're getting at the top of the hour, but just bear with me. It shouldn't be too much longer. Lavender oil cleanses and soothes minor skin burns, cuts, and other skin irritations. It combats excess sebum on the skin. It's antiseptic. It's analgesic. It's anti-inflammatory. It's antifungal. It promotes skin tissue regeneration and speeds wound healing. Used for skin conditions such as eczema, acne, psoriasis, scarring, stretch marks, bug bites, and burns. I'll tell you, lavender is the best thing ever on the planet for burns. Frankincense oil. It supports skin health. And you notice that we have frankincense in many of our skincare products. It's anti-inflammatory. It's anti-tumoral, which means it has the ability to shrink tumors. And that's why people find the art skincare to be so effective on, on um, small bumps, on uh, precancerous skin cells, because of the frankincense. So you might want to use frankincense straight and then use the uh, day act day regenerator or uh, anti-aging skin cream, Boswellis skin cream, over it. Or even a little animal sense. Trust me, you can use it on your skin, on your face. It was a holy anointing oil during the time of Christ used to treat every conceivable ill known to man. It stimulates the limbic system of the brain, which produces many vital hormones, including thyroid and growth hormones. It improves attitude and uplifts spirits. And frankincense is a little pricey. It was looked at as being far greater than gold in times of the Egyptians and during the time of the frankincense trail uh, in the Middle East. I want to say that they are offering a free bottle of frankincense, a 15 milliliter bottle, which is a retail value of almost $100. I think the wholesale price is about $70, $69, $75 or something like that. But the wholesale price, uh, and they're offering a free bottle of frankincense if you order an order of 225 product volume, or PV, in the month of December. Biblical oils come to the rescue. This is a friend of ours, Carolyn Watts. Since moving to Doha, Qatar, during, uh, near the Persian Gulf, I have become very interested in the oils of ancient scripture. After a couple of months in the hot, dry weather here, I noticed a change in my skin and hair. My hair was falling out and completely changed into dry, brittle hair. It was shocking. So right away, I mixed drops of myrrh, spikenard, cedarwood, and sandalwood in a cup of olive oil and covered my hair and scalp with it. After two hours, I shampooed my hair and wow, I couldn't believe the difference. My hair was soft again. I use this combo once a week on my hair now and it has stopped falling out completely and has become thicker and softer. All my friends here are asking me for my oil treatment now. As for my skin, myrrh and spikenard are a great addition to my art skin care for the extra moisture. I am so grateful for Young Living Quality Oils. And here's her recipe of the half a cup of olive oil, five drops of myrrh, five drops of sandalwood, five drops of cedarwood, and five drops of spikenard. Rose essential oil and rose ointment are wonderful uh, oils and products for the skin. They're anti-inflammatory, used for skin, skin conditions such as scarring and wrinkles. The fragrant influence cr creates a sense of well-being, deeply nourishing and beneficial to the skin. Rose ointment is ideal for dry, cracked skin and works particularly well when applied over essential oils. So you can use o rose ointment in place of the uh, animal scents if you like the fragrance of the rose ointment better. So 90 days to beauty. Step one, enroll your to receive your wholesale membership. How to receive wholesale pricing. Remember I was telling you the difference between the prices of that frankincense from retail to, to wholesale. And all you need to do is purchase a Start Living Enrollment Kit which includes 
educational literature, some th DVDs. Uh, you get a bonus bottle of peppermint and a bonus bottle of lavender. You get three travel packs of the Ningxia Red so that you can try that. You get a $40 off coupon for any Young Living diffuser. You get 24% discount on all future Young Living products for the rest of your life. It's a lifetime wholesale membership with no annual fees. The only thing that is required is a $50 product order required per year, once a year, folks, to maintain your membership. So start living today by getting your Start Living Enrollment Kit for $40. Step two is enroll in your 90-day beauty plan, Essential Rewards Program. This, the benefits of the Essential Rewards Program are that you can earn 10, 15, and even 20% in free product on each shipment that ships monthly. This is a monthly order. Redu you enjoy reduced shipping, discounted pricing on exclusive product packages. You never run out of products to ensure your 90-day beauty plan is a success. This is, these are the, um, the, the great points of being a part of the Essential Rewards Program. And step three is hydrate your skin by drinking at least eight glasses of pure water and two to three drops of lemon oil in every glass every day. Lemon oil can help detoxify the liver for healthy skin and boost the immune system. Suggestions for your essential rewards order. If you're wanting to get set up on, on with a wholesale account and you, your first order uh, you would like to get the art skin care system we recommend that you get on the essential rewards program and you'll get this particular um, system for $115 if you're not on essential rewards you only get the first three items you get the the um, purifying toner free if you order under the essential rewards plan. So this is really great. Plus you're going to get a 10% rebate on the Essential Rewards Savings Plan which will uh, put $11.50 into to your piggy bank at Young Living to spend at a later date. Essential Rewards suggestion. Another suggestion you may be interested in, lavender shampoo and conditioner and the Boswella cream. This will give you a 10% rebate on your Essential Rewards Savings Plan so it will put $10.22 in your account. And other suggestions for your Essential Rewards? How about getting this beautiful array of lavender foaming hand soap, Lavaderm, the lip balm, the rosewood and lavender bar soap, uh, lavender oil, lavender hand and body lotion, and the shower gel, all for $107 and that adds $10.07 to your escrow account or your piggy bank at Young Living to spend at a later date. You can start spending your Essential Rewards points after you've been on the Essential Rewards program for two months. So welcome to Young Living. <clears throat> Enjoy radiant, healthy skin for the whole family. Learn more and stay connected by attending the next Young Living event coming to a city near you. Make sure you let us know where you're at and we'll eventually get to you. Uh, I want to thank each and every one of you for being on. I'm going to stop recording right now, but if you, well actually I think I'll just keep recording. If you have any questions, I'm going to unmute everybody. And um, if you have any questions, just speak up. Hello, Maria. Hello, Maria. Hi there. That was a nice presentation. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very we'll make. Thank you very we'll oh, good. You're welcome. Oh, good. Oh. I'm glad you learned a lot. And if you're interested, if you are a member of Young Living, you can get a free copy of this particular presentation email directly to you. So just let us know if that's something you need. Yes, please send me one of those if you 
we don't mind. Okay. And uh, it send it so that I can uh, store it on the computer yeah. for later viewing. Yes, absolutely. Thanks, Chris. I think that went really well. Okay, well, folks, I'm going to say goodbye. I'm sorry it went nine minutes over today, but I think it's because I took a little bit of time on the front end. Uh, wasn't wasn't as motivated as I should have been, maybe. So uh, have a great week. For those of you who are interested in the business, this is the same number that we use on Monday evenings, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. And we are covering... Um, the Essential Oils Business Book, How to Start, Build, and Prosper in the Essential Oils Industry. Bye-bye.